The only one we need to worry about. We will need to recapture all the SKPs if we want to safeguard the kingdom. Who are the others? Professor Faraday was a celebrated inventor, and the brains behind most of our industrial progress. Until he turned on your brother. He's a mild-mannered man, but his creations could bring about the end of civilization. Mary Godwin, also known as Witchcraft Mary, was a highly skilled alchemist, though that knowledge rests in a very disturbed mind. She was convicted of witchery after they discovered her rather horrific experiments. I dread to think what she may do next. And I've already told you about General Turner, the most dangerous of them all. He must have been planning this breakout for months. Where do we begin? The records room holds all the information we have on our prisoners. My men can study the files for Witchcraft Mary and Turner. I'm confident I know where I can find Faraday. There's only one place he could call his home. One place he could believe himself safe. I propose we sail there as soon as possible. I magnanimously offer my services in this investigation. This study seems like a nice, safe place from which to serve the kingdom. Very good, then. Your Majesty, I shall meet you at the pier when you're ready to hunt down Faraday. There seem to be several entries on this Mary Godwin, or Witchcraft Mary, if that's what we must call her. Very little on General Turner, though. I'm sure I will have found a plentiful supply of information when you return, though. Good luck, Your Majesty. Bollocks. I've made errors in the count before, but never had this many men missing. No other explanation. They've scarpered. I might have a look in the sanctuary shop. I'm Faraday had a remote factory he opened up to the public before things turned sour. It's where he did all his work, and he's never stopped talking about it. I'm certain we'll find him there. But if what they say about his inventions is true, it won't be easy to capture him. Shall we go, Your Majesty? Clockwork Island. It was quite a popular tourist attraction some years ago. Faraday's inventions have changed the world, but all he really wanted was to make people happy. Why was he locked up? Nobody really knows. Your brother said he was a danger to mankind. As for Faraday himself, all he would ever say is that he'd rather die than betray his creations. 
I used to queue up for hours when I was a child in Bowerstone, just to get a glimpse of his contraptions. I still remember the slogan, Faraday Industries, where far away dreams become reality. Well, those dreams certainly look far away now. I wonder what this was supposed to be. Welcome, visitors, to Clockwork Island. I am Huxley, and I will be your guide. Please refrain from using obscene language in front of the children. Now, if you will follow me, we will begin the tour. Keep your belongings with you at all times, and try not to stray from the group. I suppose we should do what he says. Well... We begin with what is yet to come. Astonish your senses, give flight to your fancy by stepping into the street of the future. I'm starting to wish I'd paid this place a visit while it was still open. Before you is an everyday Bowerstone suburb, as it will be 15 years from now. Yes, the future is in our grasp. Please walk among the citizens of tomorrow, share in their joy, marvel at their superior well-being. This activity in the world of tomorrow, there is no conflict, no jealousy, no selfishness. Thanks to science, people are finally happy. Witness the idyllic lives of these model citizens. Marvel at the perfect lives they lead. Would you not want to raise a family here? This is the future that Faraday Industries can bring to Albion. Peace and contentment for all. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good evening. This concludes the tour. We hope all your dreams have been fulfilled. I know who you are, and I know why you're here. You will never get what you want. Never! It's Faraday. I'm ready for you, your majesty. I am most ready. And if it is violence you seek, then violence you shall have. This is a security announcement for all our guests here today. Please take cover. The management accepts no responsibility for any mutilations, fatalities, or slight grazes. And now, presenting the latest in armed defense mechanisms, a round of applause for the Colin Mark II. Only 
been here a few minutes and we're already fighting for our lives. 